The United Nations Human Rights Head has called for a ban on the use of artificial intelligence technology that threatens human rights, such as face scanning systems that follow people in public places. The United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights, Michelle Bachelet, also stated on Wednesday that countries should clearly prohibit AI applications that violate international human rights legislation. Government social score system that judge people based on their conduct, as well as certain AI-based tools that put people into groups based on their race or gender, should be forbidden. AI-based technologies can be beneficial, but they can also have negative, even catastrophic consequences if they are deployed without adequate consideration of how they affect people's human rights, according to Bachelet. Her remarks were made in conjunction with new United Nations research that looks at how countries and businesses have hurried to implement AI systems that affect people's lives and livelihoods without putting in place enough safeguard to prevent discrimination and other harms. Peggy Hicks, the rights officer's head of thematic engagement, told journalists as she presented the study in Geneva, this is not about having AI. It's about understanding that if AI is going to be utilized in these crucial human rights function areas, it has to be done properly. And we just haven't yet established a mechanism to ensure that this occurs. The crux of the argument made in the report is simple. Artificial intelligence poses enormous risks for human rights, and despite those implications, it has been designed and deployed across systems critical to our most basic freedoms without proper regulation or oversight. This is not about the risks of AI for human rights in the future. It is about the reality we see today. Without immediate and far-reaching shifts in how we address AI deployment and development, the existing harms will multiply at scale and with speed. And the worst part of it is, we won't even know the extent of the problem because there is so little transparency around artificial intelligence and its use. Our work makes abundantly clear, AI is already part of our lives, and there is no time to lose in the fight to ensure that it is designed and deployed in a manner that makes our societies better and more rights respecting, rather than being a tool that enables discrimination, invades our privacy, and undermines our rights. Microsoft and other U.S. tech firms have endorsed efforts to limit the riskiest use of AI in the hopes of guiding the laws governing the technology. Microsoft has collaborated with and supplied cash to the United Nations Human Rights Office to assist it enhance its use of technology.